Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I was going to go over a CNC programming skills test, uh, mostly about coordinate geometry, just a quick programming test that I'll put a link to in the description. Just a few problems to see if you could read plans and get set up on a CNC. Laminated overnight on a CNC cut jig. Okay, here's the test right here. Just a kind of easy diagram, and what you're doing is you're filling in the coordinates for all these different points. Probably where I get started first is just trying to figure out where the diagram is about. So right here, I see this circle. This is my home screen. This is my origin, zero, zero. Everything up here would be in my first quadrant, all positive values in X and Y both. Over here is my second quadrant. These would be negative values of X positive values of y. Down here is my third quadrant. These would be negative x, negative y values. And over here, this is my fourth quadrant, positive x, but negative y. So remember x always comes before y. It's always over and then up. There's my axes. This is my y axis. This is my x axis. This is a coordinate on the Cartesian coordinate plane say over three, up four, that would be its coordinate. On this side, I go over in a negative, and here I go down. A couple other pieces of notation, dimensioning lines. This is a radius of 10. I think that's kind of it. There's a center point right there to note. Let's start with the first point. This first point right here is on the x-axis. So that means there'll be no vertical climb of Y. And on X, it starts at the origin. From zero, it goes to the left 15. So that's where that negative 15 comes in. And then you don't go up at all. So this value is zero. Point number two is still at over negative 15. But it is now up the equivalent of a radius. So if this radius is 10, it would be 10 here. And it would also be 10 here, so this is where that 10 comes from. Point number three is right here. From the origin, I go over 15 to the left, another 35 to the left, that gives me my negative 50, and then it's also up 10. Point number four is I am down a radius amount, so I am down negative 10, and I am over that 50 in the X direction, so that's where that negative 50 comes from, and that negative 10. Point number five, right here, I'm over that 15, so negative 15, and I am down 10, and that's where that negative 10 comes from. Point number six is on the center line here, so I am over this amount, which is this dimension here, so I'm over 30, and then I am up. 45. So that's where that 45 comes from. Point number 7 is a radius of 10. That's what that capital R is. So this is 10 here as well. I go over 30, but I come back that 10. So this is over 20. And it is up 45. Point number 8 is the same over a 20. And then it is up from my origin here, if this is 90, this is 45, this is also 45, but it's down 45, so this is negative 45. Point number nine is here, it is over 30, plus this amount right here, which is gonna be a radius of 10, so it's over a total of 40, and then it's up from here down to here, negative 45, so that's where it comes from. And lastly, point number 10, point number 10 is right here, it is over this 30 plus this 10, so it's over 40, that's where that is, and it is up 45. So hopefully that helped. Uh, the best way to have taken this test would be to actually just pause it and figure out a value and then watch me figure it out and then you can check your work against mine. This is a CNC programming test, which is all based on Cartesian coordinates. Um, and it's a lot about staying positive in the first quadrant, 
this is always my first value. In this, I'm in a negative, but up positive. Over here, this is negative, negative. Here, I travel over positive, but then I go down positive, negative. So hopefully that helps a little bit with the introduction to CNC programming skills test. Thank you for watching. This is Colfax Math. Um, all things math applications. I teach both CNC, woodshop, and math. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit subscribe.